Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set is based on games and tournaments. It says that uh, there are four people. Peter, Quentin, Robin and Steve, they participated in a pool competition. And we are given that uh, they played each other once. And there were a total of 15 balls in each game. For each ball potted, the player received one point. Okay, so uh, total 15. So game total is 15. Basically, that's what it is meant. And <clears throat> a game will go on till all the balls are potted. Mm. All right, so uh, since there are four people, there will be six matches, right? Four C2, that is six matches in total. So let us write that what will be the matches, combination of matches. Peter versus Quinton, Peter Robin, Peter Steve, Quinton Robin. Quentin Steve and Robin Steve. So these will be the six matches. So we will find the score lines of these matches and then answer the questions. All right. So first thing is Steve finished with 18 points. Uh, Peter finished with an odd number of points. Uh, these do not give us any uh, information about the individual points. Uh, Robin beat Steve by five points in the match between them. Right. So total is 15. So that means the score line must be 10-5. So, Robin beat <coughs> Steve by 10 5. There was one point difference in the match between Quinton and Peter. So, that means the scores will be 7 and 8. Now, this could be 7 8 or it could be 8 7. Peter scored twice as many points as Robin in their game. So, again, this will give us 10 5 score line. So, Peter is 10 5. Steve scored one point less than less against Peter than he did against Robin. So against Robin, Steve has scored five. So against Peter, Steve scored four points. And Peter must have scored 11, right? Now we are given that Peter finished with an odd number of points. So we know his score in two of the games. So 11 here and 10 here, 21. So that means 8, 7 must be the score line. So Peter will score. Uh, end up at 29 points all right so this is also done then it is uh, given that robin scored seven points against quinton so robin seven hence quinton will be eight the player who scored the most points was declared the winner and we are left with the score line of one point and uh, one game and we are left with one of the statements which is yet to be used that steve finished with 18 points okay so if steve finished with 18 that is five here and four here nine points so steve should get nine points here and quinton would get six points in this game so this was a simple set it was easy to fill these values now we can answer the questions who was the winner of the tournament so uh like of course it appears that peter has scored the highest number of points but let us just re-verify it so peter is 29 okay steve we are also already given that it is 18 okay and uh, let's find for quinton 7 8 15 15 6 21 okay since there are 15 into 6 90 so uh, this is 50 50 68 robin will have 22 points so peter is the winner of the tournament okay how many matches did quinton win so if we see this this is loss okay this is win and this is again loss so quinton win quinton won only one match what is the total number of points scored by robin in the tournament so robin scored a total of 22 points five here and seven here and ten here so total of 22 what is the highest number of points scored by a player in a game so in a single game the highest is 11 points so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.